What's up, everybody? Welcome again to our channel, The Middle Sphere. It's your boy, Senti. And today, I want to talk about how you can navigate your cryptocurrency wallet and also the interface, how you can get familiarized with it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and also click the notification bell so you can get more information about uh, different ways that you can earn money online and also personal development series that will be coming up very soon on The Middle Sphere. So, uh, you can just, you know, get yourself up to date. Uh, today, if you if you're watching this video right now this is the third video in the series of introduction to cryptocurrency the first video we talked about the basic idea behind cryptocurrency and everything and then the second video we talked about how you can get started by setting up your own uh, cryptocurrency wallet so this video i'm talking about how you can familiarize yourself with the cryptocurrency uh, wallet interface so in the last video i talked about different cryptocurrency wallets uh, i talked about blockchain coinbase and also luno and there's a trust wallet the fourth one trust wallet so it depends on anyone that you feel you can use you can have an account and everything it doesn't matter um right now coinbase is one of the most popular and the top most um cryptocurrency uh, wallets out there in the world and i have the android app on my tab right now and i created a new account uh, a new wallet address for this uh, for this video purpose so just follow along it's a new uh account what you want for you to do this you put in your details you know everything just a typical sign up put in your email your name and your password so right now i'm on the home page if you look at the bottom of the screen you see home portfolio transaction um icon and also prices and settings so right now you can see from here what list is they'll give you some information on the home page you know just to Keep yourself up to date with what's going on in the cryptocurrency market after signing up i always tell people when you log in go to your settings i'm adding some additional information to make your uh, account legit so first add a payment method you can put in your visa your card to help you you know when you want to buy cryptocurrency visa card mastercard whatever card you're using then come to the second one your native currency right now i'm not in us so um i'm in nigeria at the moment so i'm going to go all the way up here and click the nigerian naira and i pick that and say okay if you load and automatically apply that setting then i put my phone number in so that i can receive codes whenever they send it in case i want to log in i put in my information i'll receive a code to verify that login and um privacy settings anyone that i want the email settings the verif uh, verification for you to navigate the to, to fully utilize your wallet very well you need to be verified if you if you can also operate without being verified but uh i think there'll be some limits some other ones you can do that but later on to ask for verification or kyc you know your customer so uh this one i put in my driver's license you can put in your international passport driver's license or any other one a uh, valid id card that's acceptable by the wallet provider um let's go back security yes security you need an extra layer of security for your transactions should anyone have an access to your uh, phone and they know your password moving of your phone will be very much easy with them but however if you've installed an extra layer of security by putting a pin that pin will be asked for every transaction you make so if without that pin nobody can move any phone from your account so that is that about this Part. so let's go to the portfolio portfolio is uh it shows you everything about your uh, your wallet all the amount of money you have in it your cryptocurrencies and their value everything is in it you can see right now everything right here is changing to nera if i it's a new wallet so there's nothing here um right so if you want to receive this one is this it shows you the details of everything that's supported by the wallet if you want to receive and send what you do is you come here to your portfolio then you click on a particular cryptocurrency coin that you want to transact in so let's say i want to transact in bitcoin i click bitcoin and then it brings out the information about bitcoin everything about the movements market the details you know but i'm interested in transacting so i come right here on that and this is where you get your wallet address your wallet address is like your account number it is unique to you and that's where you receive and you send from so uh your cryptocurrencies from so right now i've clicked on it and you can see on the top right corner here you see two icons the first one is like a barcode the other one is like a an arrow pointing out so that's that's a sending uh this, this is for receive and send so you click on the barcode if you want to receive from someone that's sending to you 
you click on the barcode and then you if the person is close to you they can just scan this barcode right now and all your informations will be displayed automatically there and the person can put in the value and send to you if they're far away from you you just see your wallet address here press copy and when you press that you send to the person the person paste it on their own transaction page and put in the value and send to you so that's what you do if you want to send you click on the send button and then it, it asks you which amount you want to send so if you have let me say i want to send hundred thousand to someone and i put hundred thousand here uh in bitcoin it will it, it will give you an option for you to change it to your nera or your bitcoin so let me click this and i can switch it to bitcoin but actually this is not bitcoin i'll tell you why because it's a smaller unit of bitcoin so a smaller unit of bitcoins uh bitcoin is called satoshis and uh this is after the guy who uh you know opened the who started bitcoin who founded bitcoin and the whole thing about cryptocurrency uh satoshi nakamura and uh, nakamoto so this is um uh, 0.025 uh 767 uh satoshis so once it becomes one it becomes a bitcoin and that is it. so you put in that value if you have it on your on your wallet you press it and it goes send so let's go back and please do not make a mistake of if you want to receive ethereum if someone tells you i want to send ethereum to you do not come to your bitcoin and click bitcoin you can't receive ethereum with a bitcoin wallet address you have to go to ethereum right like right now i've clicked on ethereum go to ethereum and then come to ethereum wallet click ethereum wallet here to bring out the details you can buy you can trade with it and then you click the two icons here the first one is for receive you click it it brings out your barcode and then you can copy you know just the same process and if you want to send also you can do the same thing by clicking that put in the value you want to buy you want to send and it goes straight so you can switch it with this but the uh, icon close to the figure you press it and there's 1.2034367 uh, eta for uh, for this for Bitcoin is in Satoshi is lesser right but for it for ethereum is ETA be it one ETA or 0, 0.0 something is ETA that is in so let's go back and I think that is all for the portfolio if you want to send uh, anything so that is it and um, the other places like price if you want to click your price you see the information of different coins in the market right now and the market is up by you know just keep yourself involved with statistics so everything you see here is just 1.9 million naira is for one bitcoin whatever you see here is the value for one coin one coin so if you see uh 28 naira here like in stella lumens that's for one coin and then you go all the way for to see different coins so you click on it you see more information about it tradable assets uh here the ones that are on the this market right now top gainers in the market you can see the information about that here and also uh top losers the ones that have lost in the market so that is all about this so i, I want to let you know one thing is everything i'm talking about here is still the same principle that applies to other wallets so don't feel they have different you know interface but this is the interface for coinbase but still if you want to get your information this is how you go about it for different for the same uh wallets when you want to transact so um uh, this transaction icon in the middle here is for buy if you want to buy your crypto with cash yeah you click that icon if you want to sell you click it if you want to convert you can change from one crypto to another if you want to change bitcoin to ether you want to change ether to bitcoin or to uh to let's say ripple or litecoin you can do that with convert convert one crypto to another here so that is all about this uh the stuff are you seeing right here so this is all let me go back to home and this is coinbase so Thank you very much uh this is just a, a video to show you what's up about the interface and everything so uh thank you for spending this time with me and uh the next video i'm talking about how you can make money using uh cryptocurrency there are ways you can start a very safe ways to to do your thing okay cryptocurrency is a very inf interesting and fun uh world for you to you know to explore so thank you very much for your time uh if you found this video uh, educating to you and please just give us the thumbs up button and also if you're new to this channel subscribe and you get more videos like this so thank you very much for spending this time with me and have a wonderful time god bless